you actually need it to sharpen it, you might do this. Gotcha. Okay. Now, if it's not really, really dull, I would never do that to a knife. Right. Mostly, it's like this. All you, all you have to do is get the two together with the sharpener 20 times harder than the blade. Blade's got to go. You can actually feel, see how that sticks? And I'm just touching. So obviously, if I put much pressure on it, I can cut the blade. Yeah. So this knife here, obviously, even though I reefed on it pretty good, cuts like that. Cut sharp. Any knife, any blade, any configuration. And I do mean any. This one got filmed about a year ago, and it was called the World's Sharpest Knife. That's how I met Chance. He just come by and he said, can I film that? That's cool. So I filmed it. He labeled it World's Sharpest Knife. Now it's, I think, over 500,000 views. I know it's over like 490. But look at this. You know? The reason it's got tree sap on it, on my, email, or on my website, people say, they write me nasty letters and say, the only thing you ever cut is paper. Why? It won't cut anything else. So I took that knife out in the woods. I found me a down tree. I took a limb. I beat the knife through the limbs on the tree, and then I cut the tree in two with the knife by pounding on it, you know, and then about a week, in about a week, it's going to show up on my website where I pound that knife through the tree. Scared I was actually going to break the tip yeah. off. <laughs> you know? One of these days, Chuck Buck, of whom I know, is going to get wind of my website and he's going to go, we need to sponsor this guy. Yeah, yeah. They just work, they don't break. This is not a buck knife, this is a fun knife. 